one more time, a look back. This week has been, for me, a treat to reflect on 34 years of working for this network, the serious stories covered, the politics, the extraordinary people met. But there have also been so many instances of just plain fun. Outfield drills. New Year's would not be right without a silly hat. Beneath a Venetian bridge. What a thrill. It's an all-electric sports car. Avanti! Okay. How about sitting around the piano with Stevie Wonder as he tells the story behind My Cherie Amour? It wasn't the original lyric. Well, we broke up, and fortunately... <laughs> uh, That's great. You know, you could adapt that. It could be, oh, my Sylvia, and it could hey, be, oh, know, my Stephanie. I'll it would work for it. almost anybody. I'm saying. <laughs> you think I didn't? <laughs> Guess my favorite. Let's... Or being with Julie Andrews and the actors now grown up who played the Von Trapp family in The Sound of Music. Oh, Charlie, I wish you would lead us off into this. Two, no, please. Three. Okay. You lead us. Eight Eight my first trip for Good Morning America was to Venice. As one author wrote, going beneath a Venetian bridge is like slipping under a silent waterfall. The Queen turned over Windsor Castle to us one day, Buckingham Palace the next. If you're going to play the palace, Buckingham's not bad. And in Buckingham Palace, of course, you would anticipate that there is a throne room, and indeed there is. Or one day, Joan London and I had the Grand Canyon to ourselves. Put down your toothbrush, <laughs> your frying pan. I hope you have a big screen television because you just have to soak this in. For a sports fan, what's better than broadcasting from Yankee Stadium? It is the subject of endless childhood fantasies. Fenway Park, going to spring training with the Washington Nationals. They're not breathing hard, you know. They're not. <laughs> and realizing age is catching up. And going back to the old Comiskey Park in Chicago before they tore it down. My dad took me to my first baseball game there. Being back here and sitting in the same area where I sat 40 years ago with my dad is great. But the funny thing is, you don't really need to be here to see it or to feel it because it's all in here. There was flying a glider near Sedona in Arizona. What a thrill. Always loved the Good Morning America bus trips, bungee jumping in New Zealand. I sincerely hope this is not the last time I say Good Morning America. <laughs> Playing Pebble Beach. Go. Releasing a wounded eagle nursed back to health in Sitka, Alaska. They told me the eagle would take off, then circle over my head in a salute of thanks and fly away again. I said, yeah, right. But the eagle did exactly as they said. When you come to France, you must cook because... And working with the wonderful Julia Child, anywhere. This was in the Burgundy region of France where we broadcast from a vineyard. They opened the really good wines for us, and by the time we got on air, Julia was delightfully tipsy. And then douse it with red wine. You're, 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 you're dousing, aren't you? We want practically a bottle. This will do it for you. Love you, Julia, and best of all, sharing a bit of this with my kids. My younger daughter is in love with the movies. I got to take her to the Oscars when we were interviewed on the red carpet by Roger Ebert and Willow Bay. I hope you come back someday as a director. I hope I do too, you know? And my other daughter's high school chorus got to sing years ago at Christmas on Good Morning America. That's her there. That was the best Good Morning America program ever. <laughs> uh, and in my opinion, the best Oscars ever. But I'm prejudiced. <laughs>